In today's video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how I create these beautiful pendants using acrylic pore skins. So we start by making our skins and to do that you will need these plastic picnic plates. These are disposable plates. The reason why we use these plates is that it makes peeling off the, the skin so much easier. It just peels off very easy from the plate and you can reuse the plate again. So that's why we use the plastic picnic plate. We will also use these 50 ml tot glasses. These are also disposable cups. You can wash them out and reuse them again. And we're going to be needing a silicone spray. Or you can line your plate with, with a cling wrap or a saran wrap. Just to make it easier to pull off the, the layer of paint we're going to put on there. And... You're going to need your selection of colors. I'm using my Dutch pour paints that are in these bottles. There's no silicone in these paints and therefore I'm using a silicone spray. I would like a little bit more variety in my pores for my skins and so in some of them I use the spray and in others I don't. So it's totally up to you. If you want to get any of these supplies that I'm using in this video, you can email me. My email is in the description box below. Let's get started with this pour. So I'm going to be using a Dala acrylic white, a Zalcraft pink, Dala silver. I'm using a Zalcraft magenta. And I'm going to be using a Dala Cobalt Violet. All these colors are mixed with my pouring medium of glue and water. I use... I use the Koki glue and I mix this glue, 80% glue to 20% water. If you want to go and see how I mix my paints and my pouring medium, click on the card above and you will be taken straight to that video now i'm going to be layering the paints in this tot cup i'm going to start with a white there's no there's no science behind what i'm layering and how i'm layering i'm just pouring paint on top of one on top of the other some silver And then the magenta and then the violet and I'm going to end off with a little bit more white that's my paints fold in the cup put that out of the way that's what my cup looks like I'm going to spray the plate with some silicone spray Just like that and I'm going to flip the plate over with a paint we're gonna let it settle for a, a minute and then we're going to lift it up and we're going to stretch it around I'm going to lift this up now And all I'm going to do, I'm going to swirl it around the plate, just to fill the plate up. That's all we're doing. 
I'm swirling it around and I'm come filling up the plate with the cream. So this is a very easy way to get involved in acrylic pouring if you haven't yet taken the plunge to pour on canvas this is a very easy way to be creative without using a lot of paint and still get beautiful results and an end product that you can be proud of so i'm going to stop there and I'm going to give it a light torch. That's all I'm going to do. And I'm going to let this dry. Let me bring it up to you a little bit closer so that you can see what it looks like. I'm going to let this dry and then we're going to come back for step number two. This usually takes about 24 to 48 hours to dry. But for you, it's going to be a second. So I'll see you now. So we're ready for the next step. The paint that we've poured on our plate has dried very nicely. And so... You want to peel it off the plate just to loosen it up. Comes beautifully loose from the plate. And you can actually just clean your plate and use it again. So this is the this is the poured skin. How beautiful that looks. So I will place it back into the plate because we're going to glue on our cabochons now. These are the cabochons that I use. This is your two and a half centimeter round and your two centimeter square. And then it also comes in a large three centimeter oval shape. I'm going to be using these three now. If you are interested in purchasing any of these cabochons, please email me. My email is in the description box below. So you're going to need a bead glue. This is a Pro Bond adhesive. It is a glue for fabrics including jeans, curtains, felt and leather. It's also used for buttons, beads, motives, sequins, rhinestones, and it adheres to most surfaces. So this is the glue that I'm going to be using. So the first step is to place your cabochon onto the skin and then move it around until you find the perfect design that will show through and it will actually be magnified through this glass so move it around until you find the the most perfect spot for where you want to glue it or attach it to your skin so move it around until you find the perfect space for where you want to glue it to the skin so I'm going to do that now. I like it right here. So I'm going to glue it on there. And what I do is I lift it up and on the bottom of the cabochon, it's got an it's got a raised edge. It's got a raised side and then a flat side. So you attach your glue just a tiny, tiny baby pea size. So 
tiny, tiny bit. And I'm going to go back to that spot that I identified. And all you do is you press it down. The glue will spread out and it will look cloudy. But it will dry clear. So press very hard. Press it down to make sure that it's adhering very well to the skin. And you're pressing to make sure that there's no air trapped under the cabochon or between the cabochon and the skin. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to find a space for my square. I like that space so I'm going to add my dot of glue again just a tiny tiny bit of glue and I'm going to press it back onto the onto the skin Put nice firm pressure onto the, the glass cabochon. Press it firmly into that skin. Okay, that's done. Now for the next one. Small dot of glue. And I'm going to press it down right there. Okay. All right, I'm happy with that. So my cabochons are stuck onto my skin and this will stay like this overnight. To dry so let me put this aside now these ones have been drying overnight and they are now ready to be used so remember my skin is already loosened up I've let it sit overnight, so now I can take it out of the plate. I've got a scissor that I'm going to use to cut them out now. So all you do is you cut along the edge of the glass cabochon. Just like that. I'm going to cut this one out now as well. Okay, put that back into the plate. I've also got another one that I've done earlier. I'm going to cut one of these out.
All right. If you have any tiny edges, you can use a haberdashery or a cuticle scissor just to trim off any excess. Now you need to glue it into the basil. This is called a basil. It's a casing for your for your cabochon. So those are my basils. But you can also use, sometimes I make these, these are handbag hangers. You attach this, you hook this onto the table. And you can hang your your handbag from this from this hook at the bottom so these are ladies handbag hangers sometimes i would make gifts out of these and i would attach the the cabochon to the handbag hook and they make beautiful beautiful gifts but i won't be doing that today i just show showed this as an option all the products that you see me use if you're interested in purchasing them, please email me. My email is in the box below. So what you want to do now is you want to now place a little dot of glue in the center of your basil like that. As I'm showing you now, just a baby pea size glue. Just like that. And then you put on your glass cabochon and you press it down. Press it down firmly into the basil. You will find that the glue will come out of the edges from around the edges. And all that's needed to be done then is just using a wet wipe, a baby wipe, to wipe it clean. So I'm going to be putting in the square one now. Just popping it in and pressing it down firmly. And once again, the excess that will come out from the sides due to the pressure. All you do is you're going to wipe it clean and then this one now like that just press it down firmly right around firmly firmly down okay I'm going to take a baby wipe now and then I'm going to clean it off. Got my baby wipe. And all I'm doing is I'm, I'm wiping it to clean off the excess. There you have it. Beautiful, beautiful basil. Cabochon. Acrylic foreskin pendant. I'm wiping off the, the square now. And now for the other oval. So these I will leave to dry overnight. So once they are dry, I will use them in necklaces or key rings or handbag hangers 
whatever I desire to use these cabochons for, I will then proceed to create those, those items. So to finish off those pendants, I would make necklaces using these gemstone chips, as you saw in the introduction. But I also use, make necklaces and I use these bead shells. These are beautiful bead shells that I also use. But you can also create necklaces using the ball chain. Like that. Or you can add it onto, you can attach your pendant to wax cord. Or suede and you can make beautiful necklaces from this so there's so many options if you're not a pour painter on canvas you can pour onto plates and you can create beautiful you can create beautiful pieces of jewelry or personal items with these cabochons and basils so if you found value in this video please give it a thumbs up like it and share and click on one of the cards being shown to you now and you can keep watching some of my other videos i thank you for being with me today take care everybody stay well bye for now